pa'lante, nunca pa' atrás Aquí estamos duros, somos global Estoy muy borracho y no puedo Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So first off, I'm going to be priming my eyes with my Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Medium Deep. And then I'm going to go ahead, blend it out, and I'm not going to be setting it because you guys already know eyeshadows be popping on top of wet concealer. For today's eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the Love Melissa Michelle Times Ulta Beauty Palette. For my transition shade, I'm picking up the shade Rosemary, and I'm pretty much just packing it onto my crease and blending it all out. Once I have my transition shade down, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade Bing Bing and I'm just going to apply it directly into my crease to bring the warmth and redness into this eye look. Grabbing a big fluffy brush, I'm going back in and blending out the edges of the eyeshadow. I wanted to add some definition into the eye look, but I didn't want to make it too dark since I am focusing on a more softer glam. So I'm picking up the shade Harley and I'm packing it onto my outer V. I felt as if the Bing Bing and Harley shade were not blended together, so I went back in and blended those two. That way there's a nice soft transition between the two shades. Okay, before I apply my lid shade, I'm going to be doing a half cut crease. It does not have to be perfect because I'm not really going for that cut effect. As you guys will see, I'll go back in with the Bing Bing shade on a pencil brush and then I'll like diffuse the harsh like line of a cut crease because I didn't really want a cut crease. I just wanted the concealer to act as a base for the next shade that I'm going to be applying on top of it. Grabbing the shade Cades, I'm just going to set the concealer. I absolutely love this like bronzy shimmery shade that she came out with. It's one of my favorites in her palette. Using the pencil brush and Bing Bing shade, I'm going in and diffusing the cut crease line. Blend together the Cades shade. I'm packing on the Harley shades and just blending the two together. That way there is no harshness in between the two shadows. From the same palette, picking up the highlighter in the shade Holler, I'm going in and applying it to my brow bone. To have that cut crease effect eyeshadow, winged out eyeshadow, I'm not too sure what you call it, but I'm just going to use a dampened Q-tip with some water and just clean up the edges of my eyeshadow. For my blush today, I'm using Dulce Vita by NARS and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending it out. I don't know why I look so bronzed in this clip. I think it's because of the sun and the warmth. I have no idea, but my camera was being so weird. But now for highlighter, I'm using my Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlighter. Look how pretty and stunning this highlighter looks. This is one of my favorite highlighters like one of my favorite investments because this was like $60 but honestly you guys I love this highlighter because it's so pretty smoke out the lower lash line I'm picking up the Harley shade once again and just diffusing it onto my lower lash line and bringing it slightly up to connect with the top lid For lashes today, I'm going to be applying my Dodo Lashes in number D105. I absolutely love these lashes. They range from $5 to $12. Look at the difference that eyelashes make, you guys. Like, seriously, try them if you haven't already. Now, using my NYX lip liner in the shade Espresso, I'm just going to outline my lips and then I'm going to fill them in with a NYX Intense like lip gloss or something like that. Can't remember the shade off the top of my head, but check the description box down below. Everything will be listed there. Okay, so this is how I get like my soft voluminous like waves in my hair. Literally, I'll wash my hair the night before, put them in these little like French slash Dutch braids. Not exactly sure what they're called. They're not perfect at all. Sleep in them. Oh, and I also apply some mousse like when it's a little bit damp before I braid it. And then sleep in it, wake up, unbraid it. And then girl, you're going to have you some nice wavy curly looking hair.
Well, this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this glamorous but soft makeup look. I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and hit that notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bye! Y no puedo más, y no puedo más, machica, machica, oye.